Hi everyone and welcome back to Wondershare Repair Alert. Today we're looking at how to fix 7-zip header errors. Before we dive in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any future updates. Let's get straight into it. 7-zip is a great open source tool for compressing files and it can read and write a variety of archive formats, including zip, WIM, and gzip. But it also has its own 7z archive format. Zipped files are popular and convenient, but they're still vulnerable to corruption and errors. If you open or extract files from a 7-zip archive and receive the header error message, then don't worry, we'll run through possible causes of this problem, as well as some easy solutions to fix or recover files with the 7-zip header error. You probably won't realize your archived file has become corrupted until you try and open it and receive the error message. So let's run through what might cause this corrupt header message. One cause of this frustrating error is when 7-zip or other archive tools like WinZip, PZip or Bandazip is not installed properly. The header error could also pop up due to malware, a virus, or other malicious software infecting your computer. One example of this is the CIH virus that infects Windows and overwrites or damages important data. Losing an internet connection while downloading the software can also result in a 7-zip header error. But it could also be caused by the interruption of the compression or extraction of files due to a sudden system shutdown. Using unlicensed third-party software to extract your 7-zip files can also result in a 7-zip header error, as it might not be compatible with your computer. Archiving tools like 7-zip come in handy when working with large files for a project, as they can compress those large files into an archive or compressed container. Rather than sharing these files one at a time, you can keep them all in one place. However, you might encounter the 7-zip could not open this file as there is an archive error message, which can be frustrating. You can fix your 7-zip header error with command prompt by following these steps. Open your system's command prompt as administrator rather than a regular user. To do this, open the start menu and type CMD. Right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. Type the file path of your zipped file and press enter on your keyboard. And your file will hopefully load. As a bonus, we're gonna cover two methods to repair corrupted files. And the first method is using Repair It, which is the best solution. It's a nightmare when photos, videos, or files crash in the middle of a project, but Wondershare Repair It makes resolving these issues a breeze. It's a quick, user-friendly, and effective solution for repairing corrupted files on Windows and Mac, and can repair a large number of corrupt files at the same time, even if they're all in different formats with no file size limit. Here's how to repair files with Repair It. Install and launch the Repair It app by Wondershare. You can type Wondershare Repair It into the search box if you haven't installed it yet, or simply download it from the Wondershare Repair It website for both Windows and Mac. From the File tab, add the corrupted files to be repaired. Click the Repair button once the files have been loaded. When the repair process completes, you can get a preview of the repaired files and save them to your computer. For exclusive information on how to tackle zip header not found, you can visit the link in our description below. WinRA is the most commonly used file compression software available, and it has an option that can be used for repairing corrupted zip files. Here's how it works. Right click the corrupted zip file and choose open with WinRA from the menu. When WinRA has opened the folder, go to the tools tab and select repair archive. Next, select the file location where you want to save the repaired zip file. As soon as you press the OK button, WinRA will begin repairing the file and create a new copy in the location you specified. When the file is finished, select Close. Within your preferred file location, you should now be able to find the repaired archive. 
And just like that, 7-zip header errors are a thing of the past. That brings us to the end of today's video. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any other solutions for the 7-zip header error. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Wondershare Repair at YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe and stay one step ahead of 7-zip header errors.